Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba still. Now and always. Like, mo mo probably. Probably always. I might change. You never know. Weird thoughts. We're gonna suppress some rebels. Get rid of these Ottoman Separatists. Still kind of mad in Sugla. So let's grab... I guess... 2 or 10 or some number of the troops. Suppress 10 in Sugla as well. Bulgarians are on the out. Venetians are a little upset. Ugh. We got about a year, and we can just attack the Ottomans, take a bunch of clay. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna temporarily ship over these guys to here. We'll regroup them in a moment. Uh, crap, did I do 11 troops accidentally? Yeah, somehow he... Somehow Macedonia got an army on this side, in the Balkans, and is actually making some progress. Sieging this side out. Wait until October, so 10 more months. 10 or 11 months, something like that. Gain Patriarch Authority, or don't. I'll take the Patriarch Authority. We'll stack it up. Okay, we can regroup this, in our, this army now. I like our stacks. I don't think combat would change at all, really. Yeah, we're 32. Bum bum. Uh, it's fine. Bum 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 bum. Lori did a very nasty variant of this technique. He released a couple of vassals, then declared a war. Then he declared another war on a third country and made them release his vassals. Then he transferred all of the provinces to his former vassals in the real war. Hmm. So you're talking about creating creating countries, declaring an offensive war which pulls him and his vassals, Surrendering to someone like a one-province miner, enforcing them to annul your vassalage of those countries so that they become secondary participants in the primary war. And then by transferring the occupations, then those countries would each be able to do their own peace deal for up to 100%. So it was the idea that you would do like 500% peace deal, for example. Yeah, that's sneaky. Um... Just to weaken him. I mean, we could we could do something like that. I understand the concept. That makes sense. Tell you what, we'll do that. Why not? After our truce is up, we'll declare war and we'll take provinces. We'll find some tags. Iraq. Just off the top of my head, Iraq. Um, Caraman maybe still exists. Yeah, Iraq, Caraman. What else we got? Maybe Albania, just for funs and funsies. Not Serbia, because we have cores on them. Mamluks exist. Syria. Syria and Iraq. Kandar? Kandar's cores are gone. So Syria can Syria and Iraq. Caraman. One, two, three. Bulgaria? I think, uh, do we share cores with Bulgaria? You might already. Yeah, we could release Bur Bulgaria already with Burgas. We can do Bulgaria, that's fine. Greece cores don't exist yet. And we'll need to choose a target to actually surrender to. Each and old's relationship will... It's gonna be difficult to calculate exactly how much they cost, but um... Maybe we just do a few at a time. We don't have to do like five at once. Maybe attack Circassia. That'd be a pretty easy war. The Teutonic Order? I don't think we have a CB on the Teutons. 
or the ability to get to, to get one. We have no truce with Polotsk, and Kiev has full claims on him, so Polotsk could be a good target, especially if Russia's not willing to defend him like last time. Let's check and see. Can't declare war because he's still diverting trade to us. I mean, Russia's in an offensive war, so... Whatever, I'll just cancel the trade. I don't care. He's downstream anyway. There's our truce to the Ottoman. So step one is going to be... Do we want to... Just see who we could release right this second. Got Bulgaria. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I want more than that. I want to take some clay so we can actually do that. And if we do this right now, the Ottomans might lose, theoretically, to, uh... Hmm... He's kind of fully occupied, he's not gonna lose. But it does cut his army off, make it more difficult for him to... ...deal with any of this stuff. Okay, let's let the drill... Stop for a month so that our armies have some actual morale. Let this army march maybe over here. Let this one head to Georgia. You can head to Nis. I don't care about the manpower this time. So we want to take. This low development stuff over here to create subjects from. So, we'll probably take Isel. This gets us Syria. Iraq doesn't start until further in. So, maybe not Iraq. It's probably just Caraman, Syria. Might end up just being those. Oh, Caraman's alive. That's right. Crap. We kill Caraman. Well, if I prefabricate on Caraman and we conquer Antioch for Syria, then we could immediately attack Caraman, full annex him, and release Caraman from there. Because I don't have a truce with Caraman. No one would protect him. So we should just spy on him so we can get a claim as soon as we win our war. That'll work. Return course? No. The, the idea is, if you missed it, the, the idea is that we're going to basically do more than 100% war score in a peace deal by not having... not negotiating the peace deals ourselves. We don't want to spend 100% peace deal and have a 15-year truce with the Ottomans ourselves. Can't release him on Cyprus because he's a Greek? Well, then we'll just conquer another one. We'll conquer Isel as well. Okay, it doesn't really matter what CB we use. Because we, we have full influence in his arrival, so I'll just declare for something that's easy to siege, like... Um... Why not... Tokat? we have a claim on Tokat? No. Claim on... Nienschnifnuchnin. Off we go. I assume that our navy has gotten stronger. The knights have declared war upon Caraman. They cite what? Conquest! Okay, well, Caraman might just die to the knights then. It'd be kind of convenient for us. Once again, our navy is uh, committing Sudoku because it's not very smart. Just have to keep telling them to go home during war while we're at the war with the Ottomans. <clears throat> Pretty high on Abin points and Diplo points again. But I don't want to take tech since there's no innovativeness gain. Oh, 
Oh, look at that! It's 57,000 Ottomans in the island of Corfu. And we have a blockade here. Uh, would be a shame if someone were to park, say, a massive stack in Epirus. In this case, we don't care as much about the secondary participants, because we're going to use this... I don't want to call it cheese, because it's not really cheese. It's just clever use of in-game mechanics, just like every other game. Every other mechanic in the game. Thanks for making us suffer attrition here. Little silly guy. Okay, this stack is the one that's going to actually take care of getting the war goal, just so we have a ticking war score. And this stack was taking care of the capital, but the capital is only level 1, so we can pull half the army off. And now the whole army off, because it's been occupied already. This army is just going to sit there. It's perfect. That's actually like the best case scenario. When you can en when you can engineer that, now he'll pay for the whole army. It's even easier to make them go bankrupt because they can't get rid of it. And yes, if we could possibly occupy this stuff, then we could possibly make Akiunlu win. And if they win, then they will demand land from the Ottomans and make it easier for us to win the war. So by all means, let's um. Work towards unseaging Akinlu. What's his war goal against Akinlu? D I E B R Q is capital. Okay, well we're gonna try working on it. I'll just keep these two stacks here just in case. And our income is actually good. We should probably start converting again. Bum, bum, bum. Shouldn't I leave some clay unseaged for Akinlu to take then? Eh. Whether or not they peace out now, it doesn't matter. Like, the main thing is if we if we get him to the point where he doesn't have positive uh, 93 war score against him, it's an offensive war. So as soon as he sees that he's not winning anymore, he's going to want to peace out with Akinlu. But if he doesn't have occupied forts in the area, he can't demand land. And then eventually Akinlu will just refuse the peace deal because he's making gains. And, uh... Now he's stuck in an offensive war that he can't get out of, and that's kind of where we want him to be. Now, if he were smart, he'd be peacing out right now, because he sees him about to take the land back. We'll see. Hopefully the disease outbreak. There's the peace deal. Yep, yeah, so he uh, he did do it. Before we could do anything. It's too bad. Okay, Morocco, Dawasir, a bunch of other derps. Get a little bit more war score so we can take the land that we want. And we need to turn around and find a way to break the truce quickly. Bum, bum, bum. 
Well, his army is under attack. He actually tried to engage me because of the uh, upgraded unit type. Interesting. We get there in time. He's taking a negative four penalty. Did not expect that. Um, let's see, ninth? Yeah, I think we have troops coming in fast enough. Oh, our leader just died. Uh, let's see. He's quite bad. I guess we'll go with a military candidate, since we are probably the most behind on military points after that last city group. Yeah, of course, naturally, now we get free thinker. Do we not have naval superiority, do we? Maybe we do. Just swoop in over here and see if we can possibly cross that straight, finish off this army. Looks like he's retreating to a Pyrrhus. No, he's probably going all the way to Corfu again. Which is fine, actually. These two armies belong together, so why don't you go to Van and you can go to, I guess, to here for now. Get them to regroup. Stuck in Corfu again. Would taking Clay in the south be useful to get closer to his allies? Maybe. I'm, right now I'm just leaning toward just taking some of this stuff over here. Releasing some nations and stuff is going to be useful. We've already... broken him? If that makes sense? Like, he's he's already... Once you beat... Once you beat an AI in the first war, like, he'll never come back from it. But... We're trying to find the most... The most effective way to break him... More. Right? Like, how can we do it the fastest? Completely break him... As a country. I don't want to take the time to make him bankrupt again, but... It's just such a, it's just a messy, <laughs> just so much going on in this war. Ugh, stupid allies. Can we knock them out? They're annoying, these little islands, Morocco, like, all these little one province minor allies are irritating. With 80 war score, I think we're probably just piecing out now, honestly. Let's, uh, okay, so... I want to make sure we take the right stuff. Careman is either going to die, or we're going to fabricate on him and make him die ourselves. But, we're looking at taking his cell as a Caraman release target. We want low development, something with a Syrian core, so probably Antioch. That's two released nations. Three if you count Bulgaria. I want to do four or five, but I don't, I don't see any other really great ones. Maybe, maybe Albania. Yeah, let's take, like, Durez. That's four. Dulcadir. There's a Ramazan core. Ramazan would desire more land, so he doesn't have cores that could be returned easily, but he'd still want more. 
Yeah, Dulka Deer. Let's do that. Let's take and Thab. We want to take Tabriz so that we do Borders Guarantee. I like that idea. Let's give this to us and give it to Georgia. Albania is greater than Bul better than Bulgaria. We're gonna do both. Nope, no Greek cores yet. And our scores are expired. Akinlu exists. That does give us the five, though. There's Bitlas and Armenia. But Armenia has cores on our subject. Iraq is too far east, I think. Yeah, he is not really into Iraq yet. Okay, um, I think, I guess four is good. Kara? Kara has cores way up north in Georgia's land. I don't want to release people that have cores on our lands. Alright. I'm going to take a short break here if you watch this on YouTube, but I, I think that we have a plan. We need to make sure that we implement it properly, but I understand the concept. I haven't done something like this before, but it shouldn't be hard to pull off. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.